All right, so you win a little bit more control over how your dog shatters. There's a couple different ways to do that. Uh, another really easy way to do it is just to hop back into ZBrush here. We'll go ahead and load up our dog again. Hit the comma key here. Go to Tool. Double click the Dog Z tool here. And we'll go ahead and drag that on our canvas. Go into Edit Mode. We'll hit Go Z. Hop back over to Houdini. And then I'll go ahead and using the Go Z plugin that we have installed already. If you haven't watched that video, feel free to watch that. And now we have our dog in our scene here. The first thing I'm going to do is click the dog node over here, and I'm just going to translate this up in the air by two. So if we kind of zoom out, we can see our dog just hovering over the area like that. And just like we did in the previous shatter, what we can do is go to collision and click on ground plane here. That'll throw a ground plane in here. If you don't want to see it, you can just turn off that visibility on the ground plane. Now let's go ahead and select the dog, and instead of going over here to Rigid Body Shatter, we're going to go over here to the Modeling tab, and we're going to say Shatter. You're going to see it's going to pre-shatter our dog here. If you want to see what that looks like exploded, go over here to the panel view here, hit Tab, and then type in Exploded. Grab the Exploded view, and we're just going to take that Veroini Fracture and just drag that right on there, and if you click the visibility for that, you can see the Exploded view. Now at this point, because GoZ to Houdini does support point positions, poly paint, poly groups, masks, and UVs, you can use any number of things to drive how your objects get shattered. So if you wanted to poly paint that in and have your vertex color drive that, I'm sure Houdini could facilitate that for you. However, we'll just keep this pretty simple. Uh, we'll go up here to the chunk centers here, and if you just crank this force total count up, you'll see it's going to start fracturing our dog up more and more. Let's say we like 42. Let's go ahead and just drag over that exploded view, hit delete, and now we can see we have our pre-fractured model right here hovering over our invisible ground plane. Let's go ahead and select our dog again. Oops, let's go back up to object mode and select our dog. And then under the rigid bodies we'll hit RBG fractured objects and we'll make this an RBD fractured object. And now all we have to do is go over here to play and watch the dog fall down and fracture along our previously determined cut points. If we like these objects here, go ahead and hit stop. And just like we did before, hop into the Gozi Go dog here. And at the very bottom here, I'm going to hit tab, start typing in Gozi. There's our Gozi export node like we've used before. Drag that in, select it, hit send to ZBrush, and there we go. It's just objects just like you would normally have polygroups, polyframes, all the stuff we're usually used to working with in ZBrush. Now all you got to do is go to polygroups, for example, choose auto groups, and now each one of those chunks is its own individual polygroup.